أيها النجوم نحن نفتخر بكم وبإنجازاتكم اليوم نكرم 12 سفير للجامعة الألمانية من عدة آلاف ليس فقط في مصر ولكن في العالم هناك الكثيرون من قصص النجاح المماثلة والتي نتمنى 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 أن نتعرف عليها ونفرح بها فهم يمثلوا مبادئ وروح وقيم الجامعة الألمانية بالقاهرة والتي أتمنى أن تبقى هذه الروح وهذه القيم وهذه المبادئ التي زرعناها في الجامعة مع افتتاحها في عام 2003 باقية فيكم ولأبنائكم وللأجيال والقرون القادمة بإذن الله إلى عام 3003 وإن شاء الله نشوفكم بصحة بعد ألف سنة وبالتأكيد مصر فخورة بكم وستبقى أعمالكم ممثلة فيما سوف توجدوه من حضارة وتراث للأجيال التي ستبقى لكم هذه الإنجازات وستعود بكم مصر إن شاء الله لما كانت منذ ألاف السنين رائدة رائدة الحضارات أنا في كل حفل التخرج في آخر الكلمة بتاعتي بقول إيه؟ بقول أنا براهن بخريج الجامعة الألمانية. النهاردة أنا كسبت الرهان بالإيفنت بتاع النهاردة أنتوا اللي حققتوه فعلا الرهان صحيح والرهان مظبوط و... وأنا كسبته لأن فعلا أنتوا موديل وإكزامبلز جميلة لشباب مصر كله، شباب مصر شباب واعد شباب جميل وبيسالونا دلوقتي في الفضائيات تقول ايه للشباب وتقول ايه لمصر كل واحد من الشباب دول ترس جميل وبيشتغل وتالنتد وكوميتد لكن يمكن لنقصه ان الترس ده يتحط في المكنه الصح مكنه هنا الاتموسفير الجميل البيئه اللي حواليه الامكانيات اللي فيها فبقول لكم انطلقوا بلادي وبناتي خريج الجامعة الألمانية In 2007, I joined the GUC as an undergrad with the dream of becoming a person that plays a great role in, in improving or doing something beneficial in our society. And I'll be very honest, throughout the five years, it was not always very easy. There are times when I complained and I just kept on whining about the projects and the amount of work we had to go through. And it was only after I graduated and after I received several awards and got the chance to study and work in Europe that I came to become, like, I became, I became very thankful and grateful for every day I spent at this university for every day I've spent here and everything I have learned through uh, from the professors and the teachers and the staff of the university. Um, everyone here uh, stands on the shoulders of those who have come before us. Um, and those persons who've played a great role and a vital role in our success. Um, from parents, families, friends, mentors, and of course our beloved GUC. And therefore I'd like to take a minute or two to thank those special people who played a great role in my success. I'd like to thank my parents for their support throughout my studies and throughout my life. I want to thank them. I want to thank them for supporting me and for believing in my dreams, even though some of them were kind of like far-fetched. Um, I also want to thank my friends and my team at work for their support and for always sticking around. I want to thank all my professors here from the GUC for their support during my undergrad and for their continu continuous support and advice during my postgrad and, and professional career. Um, and last, but definitely not least, I'd like to thank Dr. Ashraf Mansour, the man behind all this. Because if it wasn't for his strong will and determination, we, we wouldn't be here tonight. And um, he's a role model to all of us. And he's a person who taught me a lesson in life that is very important. And that there is no dream that is so far-fetched but if you have a will strong enough, you will work so hard and you'll live to see it happen. And um, before I go, I'd like to just say a small thing to um, those who have recently graduated or are yet to graduate. Um, as a GUC graduate myself, I just want to assure you that this university 
uh, equips you and prepares you to learn, adapt, and excel at any setting given to you, whether academic or professional. So just believe in yourselves, believe in, believe in your dreams, and just make them come real. And like a great man once said, to achieve great things, we must not only act, but also dream, not only plan, but also believe. Thank you. I have made masters, uh, I have space technology in Sweden, and another masters for space techniques and instrumentation in Toulouse, France. Uh, and a co-founder and director at AN Industries, one of the candidates for presidential leadership program.